Hey, welcome to the final video here in our Android Services app. We've done all the buttons on this screen here except for one. We're going to work on Maps today. So the Maps uh, is going to open up the Google Maps program and show us a location. So let's get started with the coding here. Let's go into our main activity, .java, and add the button listener, and then we'll go get some code to make it work. So let's call this thing Button Maps, and let's go and put in our reference in the actual layout. All right, so we're going to use find view by ID and give it an actual value. The next step is to add a click listener. So let's go into to the next section and add that. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to set on click listener and in parentheses, I'll add a new on click listener function. Now we need to fill this click option with some actual code. Let's switch back into our developer.android.com website, the official tutorials and documentation. I'm in the section here titled Maps, how to show a location on the map. It says the action that is associated with this intent is called action underscore view. And then there's some properties that we need to include. So the string that we're going to provide it to it is going to look like this here. It's going to have a geo colon and then two floating point numbers and it'll tell us how we're going to get there. So you could put in latitude and longitude as variable names, a Z for a zoom variable. So you can see in this example, if you want to zoom in a little closer or further away, let's see what else they have. You could put in a geotag of zero, zero, in other words, no uh, la latitude and longitude, but you put in a Q, which looks to me like it stands for the word query. So you query a street address, or you could query a famous uh, landmark, and any kind of a string that normal um, input at Google Maps will work. So you can put in McDonald's, or you can put in the World Trade Center, or you can put in Grand Canyon University, and it will find it. Now, let's give, get down to the section where they have actual code. So this, to me, looks like our most useful place. So there is a function called show map. Let's just borrow that and put it into our computer program here. So down near the bottom of the page, looks like we have space for a new method. Okay, here we go. So paste it in. We are going to ask for a URI, it looks like, called a geolocation. So we're going to have to format our uh, string to look uh, to match that. And then it should open up the map. All right, let's go back up to our page here. So there's, first of all, we need to get a string here. And we're going to call it our um, maps query. So I'm going to assign to maps query the value that is currently in the edit text data area. So now I'm going to create a new variable in the format of URI. Let's call it map URI. Then I'm going to create a parse function here. So URI.parse. And then we're just going to try to parse whatever came from our maps query. All right, so we're all set to go with this map URI. Now we need to send it to the method at the bottom of the page. Let's go back to the bottom. Make sure we got this thing. So it's called show map, right? So we're going to use this method above. So let's go ahead and call him by pasting in his name. So show map, and then I want to send in map URI. Alright, so this maps query is just going to take a string, but we need to add something else. So let's go back and look at the documentation and see what they were expecting. So a query is supposed to start like this, where it has the uh, elements geo00 question mark q equals. So I want to insert that into my URI. Let's go back and try to do that as well. So let's see, we're going to paste in an extra string here. Something that looks like that. So the geo query and then the actual element that comes from our person's entry. Let's see if that works. Let's run the app. All right, looks like we're ready for an address or some kind of a name. So let's go with 1600 Pennsylvania. Let's see, how do you spell that? Pennsylvania Avenue. All right, looks like Maps is up and running. Let's go ahead and sign in or skip the sign in, actually. Looks like we're zooming in towards Washington, D.C. And we should have a street view at the White House. So if you want to explore Street View and everything, you can look around. Uh, it's interesting. There's a McDonald's just not that far away. Well, let's see. That looks like we wrap up the uh, 
application and we have all of its methods programmed for the buttons. So there's obviously more intents that we could do. So if you look through the list here, we have file storage intents and maps and videos and all kinds of things. So this gives you some pretty common ones, but it's enough to get you started for a great deal of uh, similarity on the future of intents. So it was nice seeing you. I hope that your app works well.